We're going to talk a little bit about transmission coolers and engine oil coolers today. You might start by asking, why do you need a cooler at all? Well, on the transmission side of things, hot fluid is the number one cause of deterioration and failure in transmissions. As a fluid heats up, it can no longer do its job of protecting the internal components, and you run into premature wear, slippage, and transmission failure. Very costly. On the engine side of things, you have a similar situation, but it's at much more extreme conditions. Uh, engine oil's sole purpose is to lubricate the engine, and when it gets too hot, it just can't do that, and you run into am engine damage. Flexlight's been in the performance cooling business for more than 50 years, and this new line of transmission coolers and engine oil coolers sets a new bar in the industry. Let's look first at the transmission coolers. These are stack plate designs. So these are made of many plates that are stacked together and, and then brazed to form a single unit. These are 100% aluminum, which makes them very lightweight, but also very, very strong and rigid. These have flanges at the top and bottom to make mounting very easy in a variety of uh, applications. But the real magic is inside the FlexLite stack plate transmission cooler. Unlike other plate style coolers that are on the market, we use a patented dimpled plate technology. This keeps the fluid mixed as it passes through the transmission cooler. Those dimpled plates also add significantly to the strength when these are brazed together. So each one of these transmission coolers has a 500 PSI burst strength. Now if you have 500 PSI of pressure in your transmission, you have another problem, but it's not going to cause a failure in the FlexLite transmission cooler. These coolers are available with both 3 8 inch barb fittings or dash 6AN. We have a variety of sizes that can work on anything from very small passenger uh, cars up to heavy duty pickup trucks that are used for towing. In addition to transmission coolers that can be mounted in front of the radiator, we also have units that come with an electric fan mounted to them. Now these allow you to mount this unit anywhere. It can go underneath the vehicle, it can go on the back of the vehicle. If it's a race car, it can be mounted to a roll cage. Also, by mounting the transmission cooler somewhere besides in front of the radiator, you're reducing the amount of hot air that goes into the radiator, allowing the radiator to do a much better job of keeping the engine cool. Now let's look at the engine oil coolers. The first thing you'll notice is that these are thicker than the transmission coolers. That's because engine oil viscosity is typically higher, making the oil thicker. So in order to minimize the oil pressure drop, we use broader or wider stack plates in here. The internal composition of these plates is also different than the technology we use in the transmission coolers. Instead of a dimpled plate, we use turbulators inside each one of these plates to keep the oil mixed. By keeping the oil mixed, we're improving the heat rejection of these units, making them more efficient by eliminating the possibility of a cool outer layer of oil setting up around the outside of the plate and the hot fluid passing right through the middle. It also makes these units very, very strong. When they're brazed together, that turbulator fuses with the top and bottom of the plate, and this also has a 500 PSI burst strength. Now let's talk a little bit about the performance of these new coolers. The transmission coolers provide nearly twice the heat rejection or twice the cooling capability of a typical low-cost cooler. On the engine oil side, things are even more impressive. These coolers provide four times the heat rejection or cooling capability of a typical low-cost cooler. In addition, these have nearly 10 times less oil pressure drop than the typical low-cost cooler. Go to flexlight.com to learn more about our full line of performance cooling products.